guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you. I hope you guys had a wonderful Valentine's Day celebration. So here's a fun fact guys. I just found out that February 14 isn't just Valentine's Day. There's actually a thing called Library Lover's Day. I did some research and I found out that Library Lover's Day is actually a day where you honor libraries, librarians, bookworms, that's you and me, and just library lovers in general. Which is why today I'll be doing a bookshelf tour. So inside this room, you guys are gonna see our mini library. So I'll open the door and show you guys what's inside. Ta-da! Our mini library, yay! So over here at the top, um, you guys are gonna notice that I have a lot of frames, um, pictures of Jesus Christ, stuff from church. I was born and raised as a Christian. And here's a picture of the temple and pictures of my family. So really quickly, I'm gonna give you guys an overview of the books that I have before I go to each section and show you the books that I have. So there we go. This is the third row. Last row. So I'm gonna start in this area right here. This is my beloved Rick Riordan area. If you're a fan of Rick Riordan, I'm very sure you're loving this right now. I'm gonna try my best to keep this video as short as possible because obviously I have a lot of books and I don't have the time, the energy, and the battery life to explain everything in a very detailed manner. Anyway, so here I'm gonna start with the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. We have book one, book two, book three, book four, and book five. So this is a series that focuses on Greek mythology. Just below that you're gonna find the King Chronicles. We have book one, the Red Pyramid, book two, the Throne of Fire, book three, the Serpent's Shadow. So this series right here talks about Egyptian mythology. I love these two series so much to the point that I decided to buy this one. Demigods and Magicians, Percy and Annabeth meet to Canes. This is a crossover of the two series that I just mentioned. So next we have the first two books of the Trials of Apollo series. We have The Hidden Oracle and The Dark Prophecy. I haven't read these books yet, but I will. I have a goal to finish all of Rick Riordan's books in the near future. So up next is the series that I'm currently reading. It's the Heroes of Olympus series. We have book one, book two, book three, book four, and book five. So the Heroes of Olympus series combines Greek and Roman mythology and I think that was really cool. And the last part of my Rick Riordan area is the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard series. Book 1, Book 2, and Book 3. This is all about Norse mythology. So now we're done with the first area. I forgot to tell you guys that most of my books are actually secondhand. I don't really buy brand new ones unless there's a big sale. So the next part that we're gonna be talking about is the romance section. Yes guys, I'm a big fan of love stories. I enjoy them so much. And as you can see, I have all all of Nicholas Sparks books. Oh man, collecting his books was such an adventure. I had to go to different book sales, different bookstores just to buy all of his books. It was crazy. It was like catching Pokemon. They're so hard to find. But I'm happy that I finally have all of his books. And most of them are actually secondhand except for 2x2 two two and See Me. So these are two of his um, latest novels. I also have Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. As you can see, it's also secondhand, and there's a lot of you know creases in the spine, but I don't really mind. And I also have books from Dojo Moyes. I have Me Before You and The One Plus One. I've also read the sequel to Me Before You, and I'm also planning to read the third book, but I'm still waiting for a sale because I'm very sure it's gonna be very expensive. So I have here a weird looking bat puppy, bat dog, I don't know what it is. It's something that my husband got for me. He likes weird stuff. And a decorative piece um, with Lilo's name on it. Lilo is our first Boston Terrier, and I have a stuffed Boston Terrier right here. We got this for his birthday and since I cannot separate my love for books and my love for dogs I decided to put this right here. 
along with my babies. This section is obviously the YA section. <laughs> so I consumed two areas for my YA novels and yeah, most of them are being talked about in booktube. So I bet they're not really new to you guys. So I have the Hunger Games series, my life next door, the Divergent series, Twilight, um, the Fifth Wave series. So I'm not really gonna show them to you one by one because I know you already know what they look like. And then down here I have more YA novels. I have All the Right Places and Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Nid Niven? N Niven. I'm sorry, I'm bad at pronouncing their names. And I have Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door. Isla and Happily Ever After. Yes, it's called Isla. It's not Isla by Stephanie Perkins. So a bunch of other YA novels right here. So I bet you guys have read these already. I also was able to collect John Green's books. I have all of his books except for the latest one, Turtles All the Way Down. I am still saving money for that. And I also have Rainbow Rowell's books. So I decided to just be quick in this area. So that's the YA section. Next area, it's one of my favorite areas actually. I already mentioned in my past videos how obsessed I am with children's and middle grade novels. So in this area, you're gonna see mostly children's and middle grade and books that I think you know, are inspirational or will teach me a lot of things. And my husband also wanted his Gundam toy to be part of my collection. So I'm not really a fan of Gundam, but he loves it so much and I love him. So I allowed him to put his toy right here next to my books. So I'm just gonna leave you right there, Mr. Gundam. I have books from Trenton Lee Stewart, if you're familiar. He's the author of The Mysterious Benedict Society. I have A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I already read this book, but I read it in ebook. I wanted to have a physical copy so much, so this was a gift given by my husband um, last Christmas. Next, I have books from RJ Palacio. I'm such a huge fan of hers. I've been so obsessed with Wonder for a very long time. I could not stop talking about it. I also have her other book, Augie and Me and Three Wonder Stories. I have Sun by Lois Lowry. It's the fourth book in the Giver Quartet. I only have books one and four. I have books two and three as ebooks. I also have See You in the Cosmos by Jack Cheng, another children's book. I have Pax by Sarah Pennypacker. I have Aristotle and Dante, Discover the Secrets of the Universe. This is not really a children's book, but as I mentioned, I included in this area books that I think will inspire me or teach me some good lessons. I have The Giver, the first book in the quartet, and books from Ogmandino. His books are very inspirational. So if you haven't heard of him, I would suggest you check him out. You're gonna love his books. I have Flowers for Algernon. I am obsessed with this book too. I keep talking about this to my friends. You're gonna love it. It's actually a sci-fi novel, but it's a very emotional story. And also I have, what else? Rich Dad, Poor Dad, How to Win Friends and Influence People, One by Richard Back. Um, the Horse Whisperer by Nicholas Evans and of course my favorite, my beloved The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry I love this book so much I think you guys are already <laughs> annoyed by how many times I already mentioned that in my past videos so I have two copies of The Little Prince I love them so much I also have Charlotte's Web by E.B. White and Jonathan Livingston Seagull by Richard Back as well. So we're done in this area. Next, in this area, I still have a few children's books. As you can see, I have Chronicles of Narnia, all the seven books in one giant book right here. So I got this from a sale and it was such a steal because the discount was really big. And I have a sealed copy of the Harry Potter series. This was also a steal because the original price was, I think, 3,400 pesos. But some lady was selling it and I got it for only 2,000. 
4,500. It's sealed and brand new, but I was just, just a lucky girl. These books right here, I would say I think highly about them, although I haven't read all of them yet, but I have heard nothing but good things about them. I have The Health by Katherine Stockett. This is also a secondhand copy that I got. I have The Time Traveler's Wife by, oops, sorry about that. <laughs> by Audrey Niffenegger so also secondhand I think I read a few pages and then I got distracted I ended up reading another book oh, that's such a bad habit that I need to overcome and I have wait let me pick up the book first so okay I'm gonna put you back right there I have The Light Between Oceans by ML Steadman I've seen the movie trailer of this and I'm super excited to read this. I have Room by Emma Donahue, I have The Night Circus, and the rest are books from Mitch Album. I'm a huge fan of Mitch Album. I love his books so much. I've read Tuesdays with Maury, For One More Day, Five People You Meet in Heaven. Yeah, oh, I've also read The Timekeeper. So I haven't read this, this, and this. And now moving on to this part right here. So here at the left, we have books that are animal related. So I have books about dogs, dogs, cats, dogs, and more dogs. And more animals <laughs> okay and I have books from or written by James Patterson I got so obsessed with the maximum ride series it was the series that introduced me to booktube so I owe this series so much I have a few of James Patterson's love stories and over here to the right I love these books so much it's salt to the sea by Ruta Cipedes I am so in love with this book I got crazy over this because it's just an amazing book so if you haven't heard of Ruta Cipedes you should definitely check her out I also have the book thief by Marcus Zuzak I haven't read this but I will because my friends recommend this book like all the time and All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dover and The Diary of Anne Frank. I think I am almost halfway and I also got distracted again. But I will get back to you and just let me finish The Heroes of Olympus. So in this area right here, you can see that I have a few English and writing textbooks. I mentioned in my last video that I'm an English major. Next, I have classic novels. As you can see, I only have a few in my bookshelf right now because most of my classic novels are in my tablet. And next, I have books written by Richard Paul Evans. I haven't read any of his books, but whenever I read the synopsis of his novels, I get so interested because he writes inspirational stories and I'm always a big fan of inspirational stories. Next, I have Charlie St. Cloud by Ben Sherwood. This is a movie starring Zac Efron. I think this is also an inspirational story so I decided to buy this as soon as I found it. I also have The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. I have mixed feelings for this book because it was somehow very haunting for me I just uh, novels like that really bother me but I did like it so I'm keeping it right there along with the books that I like I'm a big fan of Frederick Bachman I gave a review of one of his books a man called Uva as you can see right there I love his writing style so much and I'm so excited to read the rest of his books right here I have books written by authors that I am willing to try out I haven't read their books yet, I just bought them because I've heard other people talk about them. <laughs> you know how that goes. So I have books from Lisa Scottaline, Jody Picoult, I hope that's the right way to say her last name. And I also have a book from Paolo Coelho. I've read The Alchemist. Um, I liked it, but that's just the only book that I've read from Paolo Coelho. I also have a book written by Toni Morrison. The bluest eye so i might give you guys a try someday i don't know yet what to say about them so for the meantime they will just stay in this area now we are down to the last row so they are not super bookish 
but they're still book related somehow. This part right here, you can see my husband's books. He has his own collection. And then we have here, we started collecting um, card games and just games that we can play at home. We just love to spending time together as a family and spending time with our friends. So we have Jenga right there. We have Exploding Kittens. This is so funny. We have Icebreaker, Bears and Babies, Domino. And this can right here inside we have Uno cards. So it's really fun because you know we just want to unplug and take time off of our gadgets and technology and just really be together as a family. So that's why we have these right here. This section right here belongs to my dear husband. As you can see, he only has one tiny space and the rest is all of mine. I'm sorry, Daddy, but I love you and thank you for giving me all of the shelf space. Um, so he has, this is the box of his Gundam toy and he had fun assembling it. I'm gonna open this for you. He has a lot of Magic the Gathering cards. He is so obsessed with these cards. I don't understand any of it. He wants to teach me, but I'm just super lazy in learning. So more Magic the Gathering cards right there. So if you have friends who love Magic the Gathering, then you may want to introduce them to Nathan. <laughs> and they'll be very good friends, I'm sure. And we are down to the last area. We just have a bunch of cookbooks right here and I decided to keep them in case I get bored. I would just try and cook and bake something. So yeah, that's why we have them there. And inside these white boxes are our scriptures. As I mentioned, I belong to a Christian family. We keep our scriptures and we read them daily, individually and as a family. So. Yeah, we are done with the last part of our bookshelf tour. So that was my first ever bookshelf tour. I'm so glad I finally did one. It's been a long time that I've been planning to do this. And I also want to say sorry because maybe some of you guys were expecting, you know, the typical way of doing a bookshelf tour where you get a close-up view of every single book in a bookshelf. I was planning to do that, but I just figured it would take me so much time to film. So. Yeah, I still hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if there are books in our bookshelf that you've read or you love, please go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me what those books are, what you think about them. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Happy Valentine's Day and happy Library Lover's Day!